<laughs> Yo, here we are! Guess what? On the Dreamcast, this is, by the way, on the Dreamcast. This isn't Code Veronica X on the PS2 or GameCube. Gotta play the original key. Doing the original. On the, on the Dreamcast, you press B to accept and A to decline. Because reasons. So Code Veronica is a game that uh, I have really mixed opinions on. It's like, it has some elements that are really cool, but also it's like, just such a weird game. My personal opinion, and we're going to get this out of the way right now, is I like it more than two. Uh, the only, in fact, I'm going to put it... Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like I don't like two that much. I mean, I like one, two, and three, like, three, all three's sort my, of equally. Three's my favorite, and then one is, like, a perfect horror game, but this game is definitely third. Uh, I don't... I don't count Resident Evil 4 in terms of the standard ones. It's unfair to... To compare Resident Evil 4 to a uh, to a uh, game like this. Your number is WKD4496. Welcome to your new home. This opening Ready cinematic though. Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous Stars teams. One of the reasons why I have mixed opinions on this game is that this is really the game that really starts the the Resident Evil universe is just silly now. It, like, sh it should be mentioned that this game happens, I want to say, six months after Resident Evil 2. So it's in 1998, and Claire is still like 22 years old. And as Trevor did mention, now she's like, I guess she got through the events of Resident Evil 2, and now she's an action hero. Yeah. Like, all of them become action heroes. Here's something I was thinking about the other day. Does Leon ever meet Wesker? Even in Ari. No, I don't think he does. So Leon exists in 2, Wesker's not in 2. Leon exists in 4, Wesker's not in 4? I'm pretty sure Wesker's not in 4. And then Leon exists in 6, and Wesker... I forget if he's in 6, but I don't... Thing. And then Code Veronica Wesker's in as well. Spoilers! And he's not in it. So, like, Wesker meets, obviously, Chris, Jill, Claire. I don't think... I don't think, uh... Wesker and Leon ever cross paths. As amazing as that is. Also, Leon is just in such weird games when you think about it. Like, RE2, he's a rookie cop, and he's just... Uh, he's just circumstantial hero. And then RE4 is just so far removed from the RE universe, it's basically just a spin-off game in terms of, like, plot and, like, universe building, because, like, it doesn't have anything to do with anything. And then RE6 is the only game where he's, like, really in the RE universe interacting with different characters. But, like, even his campaign is, like, ma Ada. If I remember, Which is RE2. <laughs> if I remember correctly, he's also in Gaiden, which I think is canon. I, I don't I, know anything about Gaiden. I know that Gaiden definitely has Barry, and I think it has Leon as well. So Leon meets Barry, but not Wesker, to my knowledge. And Leon's not even in Revelations 1 or 2. They use Jill and uh, Chris and Claire again, and Barry. So someone I watch on YouTube... Uh, I forgot how long this is. Yeah, this game is a two-disc game on the Dreamcast, my friends. Oh, is it? It also, for the Dreamcast, looks great, in my opinion. Uh, Holy crap, YouTube uh, compression is going to make this Sorry that it's so dark, it's not going to be this dark It's really moody and I like it, but it's going to be impossible to see Yeah, yeah, the, the, the rest of the game is not this dark um, So somebody... Uh, Dude, look at that guy <laughs> I know, just being a weirdo <laughs> That guy looks like a, a Shenmue character. It looks like the protagonist of Shenmue, if he was older and a different race. I forget what this guy's name is. I'll find out in a second. I'm a medicine. I'm out! 
Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I also want to point out we're playing on the Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. Does this game not have subtitles? This has been taken over. I don't think so. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. So he's he was like your prisoner captor guy. And uh, he is just gonna... Now he's out of a hemostatic, which is essentially uh, stops bleeding from what I understand. I mean, if I was dying and if I was on Zombie and Island, I wouldn't care about this my job. This is Juan Raval. And he's just gonna sit here in the friggin... Oh, right. Right. The best knife in the entire series. Yes. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna use it a whole ton. And that I don't get BTFO'd. But yesterday when I was playing, my friends, did I get BTFO'd. Well, the problem is this that... This game is so hard. I mean, we'll see the first zombie encounter, but it's totally unfair. Yeah. It's even more unfair than the RE2 encounter. Also, Bandersnatches, completely unfair. I don't know how to fight them without getting hit, like, three times yeah. in each one. That's that's sort of a reason why I have some mixed opinions on this game in terms of, like, enemy design and, like, environmental design. It really seems like damage is unavoidable sometimes. Now, to be fair, you do you can tank a lot of hits. There were times where I'd be like, I'm not in caution, or there'd be times I'd be like, I'm still in caution and not in danger, because I'd be getting, like, way a ton. Yeah. So yesterday... I, I also remember you get a million ammo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday I took the time to, to kill out all these zombies, and I realized that that's not a thing I want to do, because I... When I come back here, they'll just be back anyway. There are certain times where zombies will just respawn in certain places, and that's no good. I would like it very much if I almost got... If I almost got off of this island as Claire today. We'll see. An hour and a half isn't... Is a respectable amount of time to do it in. However, with cutscenes too, it's definitely not going to happen. Interestingly enough, since these zombies are literally, like, fresh from the grave, they're, like, a little weaker than, like, the zombies of recently turned people, which I like small attention to details like that. That is nice. After playing Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, it's, it's refreshing. Yeah, like, and in this one, you can't, like, you can knock it away. Dude, naked zombies in the laboratory in RE3 Remake especially, Dude. way too strong. They are ridiculously strong. Okay. So two bites is not ideal, but it's whatever. Um, but after playing Resident Evil 2 and 3, it's nice to see zombies that actually die. Because in 2 and 3 Remake, they're like, you hit them in the head five times in a row and they don't fall and you're like, uh, cool. I think in the RE2 Remake's defense, I think that's what they were kind of going for in terms of making zombies way more of a threat. But in RE3... Wait, wait. Don't shoot. Oh, my favorite character. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. I swear to God, this is the same voice as, as Tidus from Final Fantasy X. I don't know. I hate Steve, uh, dude. Sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those marks. Shut up. Take one wrong move and I'll shoot. What? I said I was sword. My name's Steve. <laughs> I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire. Claire. Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I hear there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, baby. You'll only slow me down. Down. So that's what I say when I learn someone's name. They go, "Hi, I'm Claire," and I go, "Nice." Steve just. Sucks. Also, attention to detail. You start with twelve bullets when they use three during the cutscene. I just, I really like Ooh, that. Ten out of ten. Game of the no bully. <laughs> All right, so 
Do you want to get the crap out of the way first? Let's do it. Let's get the crap out of the way. I'm probably going to get BTFO'd in here, but I get the sweet guns, so... Oh, yeah, I guess this is the first RE that has fully rendered environments. Nice, actually. Super good. Okay, so you're going to see me during these first parts go a lot between... Hello. Hello. I so unlucky. Oh, whatever. Whatever. I'm still doing way better than yesterday's playthrough, so. Oh my god, it's so dark. Alright, we're gonna take our time on this game. I'm gonna read cutscenes. Prisoners are, uh, journals. Prisoners' diary. May 13th. This room stinks to death. Based upon the information I've found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting type of guys. Today Bob told some crazy story of why he was put this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss, named Alfred supposedly, placed him in here because of a tiny Wait, little mistake. just go back. Do you see that? What? Uh... Why he was put this place with me? <laughs> That's not English. Oh yeah, why he was put this... <laughs> Yeah, I in think I, like, place. automatically, like, filled it in. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th. Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the uh, building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are some really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I better pray for Bob. May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. May 27th. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? This Alfred character sounds pretty cool. I forget if there's anything in here. Oh, nice. That's acceptable. Dude, and there's handgun bullets over somewhere at, else. As we'll find at some as we'll find, uh, really, bullets aren't what we're looking for. We're constantly looking for health. That's the big important thing. Let's get these handgun hey, bullets and everything's gonna be fine. Wait, do you just come in here for bullets and that's it? And oh, okay, yeah, all right, that's worth it. Uh, I'm just gonna take this hit. Oh, sorry. I'm was pressed. that was that like auto aim messing up? Oh, because yeah, there's a guy right there. Hello, 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 hello. So I might be boned. No, everything's oh, fine. that's actually sweet. Okay. So there is no health in here, but ah, cool. Yep. But it's fine. We don't have to go in here anymore. There's only a couple more bullets in there, but F it. Um, we are going to get a first... Da, da, uh, da, yeah. da. I actually didn't see that cutscene yesterday because I did things in the opposite order, which is pretty cool. That looks fine to me. One thing I love about this game, especially after, da, ba, 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 ba. especially after playing RE3 Remake, is that it has so many puzzles and so many items and so many key items. Uh, it does have a... Uh, people would definitely point out... There's so many zombies everywhere. Oh, dude, this game is brutal. I'm gonna take things kind of chill. When I get inside the next place, I'll be able to get a first aid. I really don't like using first aids, but it is what it is. Auto aim can be weird sometimes, as Trevor noted. Not weird, but like... I remember when you're dual wielding, like, aiming is so weird in this game. A lot of times you'll see me, I don't know if you noticed, I was just stutter stepping, and that was to get the camera to change, uh, and like not be like fully running. Uh, Remember yeah. this? Yeah. In the security box. The first time, I made it go off because I forgot that you have to literally put your lighter in too. And apparently she like literally doesn't have a belt that has metal in it. 
because whatever. So I'm not going to bother picking up. There's some grenades in here. Uh, here's the deal for anyone who hasn't played it. Uh, you're going to find a bunch of metal items in here. But if you tried to walk them back, it would just cause this nonsense. So the whole deal... You know, we're definitely going to pick this up. The whole deal is we have to uh, use this machine over here. So, yeah, essentially this is... A, I'm not going to go into it. This is a 3D duplicator slash scanner. And Dude, this game was 20 years ahead of its time. <laughs> yeah. 3D printers? It knew, dude. It knew. I forget what this is. It's weird to think that this game was made in, like, 1999. Be sure to verify the contents of the following facility access application form and add the ap applicant's name to the expected visitor list. Chief Prison Guard Paul Steiner, who you do not meet. I hereby apply for access uh, permission for Prison Area D. Vic, uh, Vic, visitor's name, Carl Grisham, who you don't meet. Carrying in the following materials. Uh, yeah, so this new product, TG01, is an alloy that does not set off, essentially, um, what you call it? Metal uh, detectors. Metal detectors, yeah. Chris Redfield. Sorry about that, babe. What are babe. you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? You know, all things considered, like this game looks great, and like the like the voice and movements and everything no still looks monitor. pretty good. Yeah, you especially compared to like D two. <laughs> yeah. From here. Well, that file shows latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. Yaha! No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. Ye you okay, Steve? Man, Steve's the best character. Yeah, all right, bud. What is that all about? Yep, there we go. All right, so I can't. I remember him saying that. <laughs> oh yeah. So we have this hawk emblem, right? And I forget if there's is there anything else. An email Wait. to Leon. Why Leon? I don't know. Weird. So we have this hawk medal, and also we're gonna uh, release this lock. If you try to go through this door. You're, uh, you see it's being blocked. We will not... Oh, this game has a quick turn? I guess that makes sense. Yes, it's it has a quick turn, which is really nice. I'm going to try really hard not to use the um, first aid, but inevitably I am going to have to use it. Yeah, you're probably like one hit away from danger, maybe. Uh, it's not as bad It's not as bad as you think, luckily. Oh, you know what? Does that count? Okay, so I'm just going to use it now. So, I yeah, I was hoping I could take it along, but I'll, I'll just use it now. Hi, I forget how to... Oh, yeah, you get it next to it, yeah. Certainly an interesting setup that they have in here. They're like, no! Don't bring metal items or we're just gonna shut down. It's been so long since I played this game that I don't remember the puzzles exactly. Are you just looking for, like, that material now? Yeah, and we're, we're about to find it... Okay, so, uh, 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 we're gonna try our absolute best to not use those nice guns until later. We'll see. It depends on how low I start getting on health. You should open that shutter. I'm sure nothing's gonna happen. What? Oh, crap. That actually sucks. Yep. So we're just gonna take our sweet time. I'm surprised he didn't. Wasn't that an explosive barrel? I, I guess it was like right next to you. Handgun bullets are a diamond dozen in this. Diamond dozen. <laughs> Sorry, I did it. I did it to troll people. I'm just pretending to be stupid. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap, he got up in one second. Oh my god. 
I hate you, this zombie. Hey, bud. By the way, these things suck. I guarantee that doesn't hit him. Oh, <laughs> the last. That is such a disappointing explosion. I know. But also, I like. I always worry about those things, about them being like. Uh, what you call it? I think guillotine guys. Fresh blood. Mm -hmm. I forget what this is. Oh yeah, that's that's kind of helpful. Not super necessary, but we can. Uh, Isn't it epic that those dual guns take two slots? Yes, I love it. Although you do uh, get more, you get a side pack pretty soon. So we're gonna run away from this. what? There's one more. Look at that snaking. That's God Gamer material right there. What? Not, <laughs> Not bad, actually. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the graveyard. And if you remember, there was that fire. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's already in here. Oh my god. God. How did you dodge I, that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I actually forgot that was there. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to want to just take out all these zombies. I found out through the playthrough yesterday that bullets are much more readily available than health. Okay. Nice auto-aim. Uh, ah, dude. Oh, crap. Well, definitely don't have enough bullets to take them all out, so we'll see. What? There's only like three. Oh, I guess I do take like seven bullets a piece. Okay, we're gonna try to conserve just a couple. Let's try it. Ah, oh, dude, I was like one pixel away. Yeah, like the, the knife in this game is really good. Cause like it hits so often, but yeah. it's like you've got to get it just right. It's also sort of inconsistent in that way. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm close enough, but we'll see. Cool. All right, so we have this. I like how this first part really gets you like set up for the game in that that hawk metal opens you up to the next big area so you really do you're really confined to these like essentially three areas oh that's convenient oh by the way is that fire extinguisher used like way later in the game i am pretty sure you're correct i'm pretty sure like you use it as chris like <laughs> literally like one room before the game's over i think you're correct i i think you are which when you use it it doesn't go away it just says empty uh, extinguisher so I only when I right I forgot when I played this yesterday I only Holy got crap did you see how fast that guy was oh yeah dude they're they're turbo sometimes I only got to the end of this part as Claire I got to the Antarctica part and was like I'm good so yeah opening up that padlock is super helpful to get away from these guys okay so everyone should be cleared out good. There are times where there will be, like, zombies again, and it's kind of frustrating. It's not like they're, like, random. It's clearly, like, set that they get back in at certain points, but... I'm sure that your time through this place is going to be fine. Yeah, nothing will go wrong. Okay. So, yeah, this alloy is not metal, so it's fine. And we walk through here, and we pick up the hawk... Oh, we pick up the hawk emblem and the thing is we need this hawk emblem uh, because it fits stuff just right but it's metal so we can't take it through oh do I have to like oh yeah that's right I love this activating dude I want to use an operating system like this this looks so comfy okay I just like how they had to have that like computer being like oh yeah look how fancy we are so we place this here. It scans it. Do whoop. Yeah, Umbrella really, uh... Really went out of its way to, uh... Spend money on things. 
please place random stuff. I guess I could have. I guess I could have placed the hawk emblem right away, and saved the step of taking it out. But I also don't understand how this could be useful in any application, in any way. Like making <laughs> making duplicates of objects made out of some weird material. I I can't. I can't. All right, so we have this. Everything's what? Fine. You're, you're telling me that happened? What? Oh. They just are there? That's stupid. That's. They should be on the ground. I, I, oh yeah, that's right. I was like, I should have fought him, but I literally can't. Pro tier gamer. All right. The movement in this game looks like it's like a little weird for some reason. I find this game somewhat hard to control, to be honest with it you. It just the way that you move. I don't know what it is about. The PS1 games that look superior to this, but it just looks awkward in this game. I will also say that God bless the people who use the Dreamcast uh, control stick. I am only using the D-pad. I just I think the Dreamcast controller in general is just terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, pick your poison. Use the worst analog stick or the worst D-pad. There's... Oh, cool. Wow, that was some amazing RNG. So we use that, and this is open to the big area. So I really like how that's set up where it's like, it, it's a trial by fire kind of thing, but you kind of have to get used to the game before you get to this next point. Which, by the way, I know all the Resident Evil games start out kind of hard. Like Resident Evil 2, you're like in a place with like a million zombies, but they're not like on your butt. Yeah. And Resident Evil 3. Is that the first green herbs? Yep. <laughs> the entire game Dude, so I know. It's really trial by fire. Yeah. Like it's like Resident I'm Evil. I'm not bad at Resident Evil games, and I already had to use a first aid, and I guarantee I'm close to being cautioned again. You know, like it's really trial by fire. Yeah. And RE2 starts obviously with um, right after you crash the car and there's zombies all around you, but there's not that many zombies, and like the the streets are kind of large, so you can easily avoid them. Like you you can easily not get hit. But, like, the beginning of this game, like, everything's just so confined and there's zombies everywhere. Resident Evil 3 also starts in a situation where right away you can get bit. But, like, after you get past that first alleyway, it's, like, fine. So, I would consider definitely the holy trinity of tough Resident Evil games is Zero, Remake, Resident Evil 1 Remake, and this one. Um, watching Trevor play Resident Evil 1 Remake... I want to say, as a game itself, go away. As a game itself, there, that's right. I gotta take this guy out. As a game itself, Resident Evil Remake is tougher. I remember this game having a bunch of bosses, though. Oh yeah, no, this game is. I would say, in terms of being fair but tough. Hello. Like realistically, oh, nice. when you're playing as Chris. Oh shh! I did not see that until the very last second. Yep, and I'm on caution. Like, if you're playing as Jill, you only have to fight Tyrant. That's it. I guess, no, you do have to fight Yawn the second fight. That's a force encounter. Like my epic moves. Green sparkly. Oh, that's right. They can get up here, can't they? I think that I'm pretty sure they can, so I'm not going to mess with it. There is a green herb there, but I'm not, again, messing with it. So we're in the palace. It's a pretty decent place. Not... Not huge by any means. Uh, we're gonna instantly head upstairs. Uh, I'm not gonna. I, yeah, I guess for safety's purpose, I'll save. I'm not really going for like an A rank or. Oh anything crap! Like this that. is the first safe space. Of the well, game. You, there is a literal typewriter like one inch away from where you start, but it's like so unnecessary. I don't even know if you saw it. It's, like, right a second away from where you start. Oh, okay. But that's not even, like... Is there a... I don't know if there's ink ribbons there, to be honest with you. Yeah, so I I, 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 I guess I'm going to save just to, just in case. Because we are doing a Let's Play and things go bad. Remember VMUs? I do. I use them. Palace, save room. The Dreamcast was a soulful console. Oh, my goodness, yeah. All right, so we're going to drop this off. We're going to drop this off and we're gonna uh, drop that off 
So here's the part that I think is kind of unfair. Oh yeah, uh, I think this is a secretary's diary or something. Secretary's note. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from uh, entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexia, in the private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia secret, Robert Dorson. That doesn't sound creepy at all. So I think this part's kind of unfair. Like, you have to, like, know to move this to find this key card, which I think is kind of bogus. Oh, yeah, that's, that's I mean, you would get to a point... Oh, that door! I know. I that mean a whole ordeal. It's oh, itself. yeah. It's anything involving Steven is quite the ordeal. So, yeah, you would get to the point where, like, you can't do anything in this palace, and I guess you would be like, what do I do? You know what I mean? Like, you would just not know. But I think that's kind of lame, because why would you push that? There's, like, no indication that you should or could push it. Yes, please. I thought there was... No. For some reason, I thought there was handgun bullets there. RNG handgun placements. Yeah. All right, so we have... Check this ID card... This game, by the way, uses this a lot, like, where you have to check things and move them around. So we have NTC 0394. We're going to remember that. I think it's the same every time. I don't think it's, I don't think it's random. NTC 0394. Yep. NTC 0394. NTC 0394. And speedrun. Please wait. Why? You just have to put in the number. What? You don't even use it? Wait, is there headgun bullets on the counter? You might have been right. Also, here's a cool thing about, about this game. Ooh. I think you're right. It certainly looks like handgun bullets. Yep. I'll take anything I can get right now. Because... Things are pretty dry for the first maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Kind of like Resident Evil Remake. And then you'll slowly be like, oh, okay. So this this room has bats in it. If you equip the lighter, bats do not bother you. I think this is first aid. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Oh, yeah. This is extremely important for later. Can't even begin to tell you how important that is. Yeah, you weren't kidding about this game just giving you a million key items all the time. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think it's I think it's way more I mean it's it's a it's a longer game than most than most uh, Resident Evil games. Uh, but man, it is like constantly giving you stuff. Now that actually isn't a key item, it's an item you could get, but and we can't unlock it now because we need the lockpick, which we do not have. Look at those handgun bolts near the base. Okay. Wait, doesn't this game have a base crow, uh, crossbow? It does. Oh my god, you got up twice, dude. Come on. And there's one more. We're just gonna take him out now. What? That camera angle sucks. I know, dude. It's not fair. I swear to God that I missed a couple times. There. I, it really looked like it. <laughs> That's what? cool. Whoa. That's pretty cool. It's pretty dope, yeah. Okay, so we can go in one of the rooms, which I think is this one. The other two are locked, and we will find our way to them later. Remember this room? I will say it is lucky that this game does, like, you're constantly using bullets and stuff, but this game is pretty nice with, uh, items. Yeah, they just give you a million handgun bullets and throw a million enemies at you. Get used to this, the thing you're about to see, because you are going to see it a bunch, my friends. This is what I do. 
<laughs> Not creepy. That's fine. Oh, Daddy! May we have that private island, Daddy? We've been good. That's all I can really think about. What a weird cutscene. <laughs> Not weird. Yes! They definitely don't look like twins. I mean, they, they are twins. Yes. But, yeah. What? <laughs> what? What? What's the connotation oh, yeah. there? This, oh yeah, this is the this is the thing that I came the whole way to the palace for. But what we're also gonna do... Oh, you know what sucks? Uh, oh, dude. That sucks. <laughs> I like... My choice was doing that or going the whole way back to the... And the thing that sucks is I put him back in one second. Yeah. But I have... I, I'm pretty sure I have to... I'm pretty sure I have to get this cutscene going. Oof. To kind of show the game, I understand what's going on with the with the gold lugers. So clearly, what they're indicating is that you need two people, one person to work the outside thing and one person to grab the lugers. But unfortunately, we don't know anyone else. So guess guess. I wish we knew no one. Else. I <laughs> I know, right? Oh. Uh, I forget if there's something over here. There is not. But like, even look at this room. It's like very like. There's a lot of detail to it. Yeah. It's just so cool. And that's why I like games like... That's why I don't like the linear games like Resident Evil 3. Even if they put a lot of details and stuff, you're just constantly running. You know? You're, like, constantly going to the next area, so you don't have a chance to, like, really see... Holy crap, there's a lot of details, and there's a lot of stuff going on. And it's a shame. Yeah, especially RE3, since, like, you're constantly being chased all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah, at least in uh, Resident Evil 3, the original one, there's times where you're not constantly being chased. You yeah. can kind of look around. Help me! Help me! Steve? I, again, I, I would like to know if you had to pick up the Lugers to, to get this going on. I don't... I want to say no. I want to say all you have to do is pick up the, uh... Um... The, the, the wheel... But I also heard that if you uh, take too long in this, Steve actually dies and it's game over. So let's let's not. The two pairs complete. My anger will subside. Sure. This is the dumbest puzzle in the history of the world. It's just the two guns. Yeah. I figured that out. I, I I haven't looked up anything else in this or anything at all in this game yet. You. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait! Steve! Also, uh... Steve sucks. Steve really sucks. Also, for what it's worth, uh, the, the those fancy guns I got earlier are not fully automatic. I think they would be considered semi-automatic because they fire in, like, three-round bursts. So, for those of you who might be like, hey, you have those other guns. It's like, no, you have to find a specific, uh, specific thing. Gotta so, find special guns for specifically Steve because he is the best. I, too, can, uh, once a bullet's fired, uh... Yeah, Get away from it. With my operation. What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you can lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, ah. commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? 
installation? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental team virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Can Claire's we? smart. Who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> Me. Me. Claire is just constantly like... Claire's just constantly like, why oh, is that? I thought, I thought Alfred shot at you with the gun. That's uh, a different one, yeah. But Claire's just constantly like, why is everyone so insane? Oh, uh, yeah, they cool. literally can... Yeah, this, yeah, that's what ooh, I was looking for. Did you see that green herb? I certainly did. Ah, cool. See ya. At a certain point, they go away, so I'm just like, ugh. Oh, the dogs. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just like trying to deal with it. Shooting the dogs, especially when there's three of them, just sucks in I know. That's another thing about, I know I've been, like, complaining about the RE3 remake, but, like, I think you only see dogs for, like, one second in that, and it's just like, ugh. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's save that for one on our It's just, back. From, the RE3 remake is just so short. It's like, you get to one area and you're done with it in five minutes. And then they add, like, generic places like, oh, this hospital place. Now, this game definitely has some, I don't even want to say padding, but it has a lot of uh, revisits. Like in this, you're constantly going back and forth between this area, this, I don't know what you want to call it, oh, the, yeah, under the, sub the underground <laughs> submarine here. stuff, to the palace, to the military complex, back to the prison. Yeah, which, by the way, if you're ever playing this game, don't forget this here. That's pretty nice. You can carry more items now, which yeah. is super sweet. Yeah, and unfortunately, since this game is sort of meandering in terms of level design, and you have to do everything twice because you have to play as Chris. This which I don't mind because you do see different things with Chris, which is pretty yeah. cool. I mean, they do the same thing with RE1 where they, like, unleash the hunters, so it's interesting yeah. just because hunters are terrible. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I, like, I really, I really like this game, as I said before, so. Um, stuff like that doesn't bother me. Um. De it's definitely at least I feel like it's triple as long as like Resident Evil 2 or 3 like it's just a very very long game okay so lots of enemies in here hi that was the fastest zombie of all time it's just like I should have I should have let him a little but it's still like oh, goodness gracious okay I forget yeah this is where I want to be also, you hear those bats, so what do we do when there's bats, lads? I don't know if they're necessarily in this room, but I'm not going to take a chance. So that case you have, is it locked? It is locked with a, with a lockpick. Or, it needs a lockpick to unlock. Okay, so. We. See a little shiny item down there. So figure what the heck. Got ourselves a Dino Crisis type level here. Except for it's about a thousand times easier. It's good to me. And... Looks good to 